Hi everyone, well, today we're talking about Tesla earnings which were absolutely amazing and we're going to get stuck into these earnings. I've actually got the Q3 report right here and I've gone through the Q3 report and I've highlighted a few things that I thought were really interesting and I'm going to share that with you in a little bit. Just before we get into that guys, if you could give the video a like that would be amazing. Subscribe if you haven't because the next time when it gets to earnings seasons, if we have a thousand subscribers on the channel, We'll be able to do a couple of live streams when these earnings happen, which will be pretty cool. I'm sure you guys will appreciate it as well. So um, if we could get there, that'd be absolutely amazing. And one other thing as well is that I actually saw a couple of the Tesla shorts still come out yesterday and say that these earnings were bad. And I was, I was just like, I never fell off my chair when I saw it. I was like, how can you say these earnings were bad? They were pretty good earnings and the stock chats and something different to what you're saying. And like, I actually didn't believe how like much people hated Tesla. And so I saw the other day about these people coming out saying these were bad earnings and I was just absolutely shocked. Um, but yeah, we'll get stuck into the earnings and we'll talk about why uh, these earnings were so good for Tesla. So the Tesla shares soared after crushing third quarter earnings. The earnings were, earnings per share was really the big standout thing because the thing is, this is a really big quarter for Tesla because Q3 and Q4 are the strongest um, quarters for Tesla. So I was looking for good numbers to be fair as an investor. Um, and their earnings per share was $1.86, where they were expected to make a 52 cents loss. So that was definitely a very nice beat. And to be honest with you, I was hoping they were going to make um, a profit on that EPS. Um, if it was a loss, um, it would have been slightly worrying for me because I was hoping they were going to get there. And they did. Um, I just didn't think it was going to be that much, which was super. Um, the revenue was just slightly under, but nothing stand out. Um, it was only... Uh, 30 million under the estimates and um, which wasn't too bad overall and this actually led the stock mark uh, well the stock chart to go up 17.6 percent and at some points it was even 20 percent up and it was in the 300 dollar range which was absolutely amazing um a while since we've seen tesla at them sort of prices now the actual q3 report there's actually some really good information here and i've, I've tried to just pick out some of the highlights really um, from it and because of the EPS beat we actually had Tesla increase their cash you know only a few months ago people were talking about Tesla not having enough cash and they increased their cash by 383 million which now gives them a balance of 5.3 billion which is fair to say is a pretty healthy balance if uh, if you agree and um, the Gigafactory Shanghai ahead of schedule trial production started a little bit in a little bit guys I've actually got some photos for you guys um, that was on the earnings report and some of the photos are absolutely fantastic from that. Like at the start of the year, I thought no way they're going to be able to get this uh, Gigafactory, like producing cars this quick, but they just keep smashing it out of the park with that. So that's fantastic. Um, another standout point was the Model Y and the Model Y was ahead of schedule. We're now expecting production to be in summer next year. Previously, we were expecting it to be autumn, which is really good. And um, record vehicle production. Um, which was 96k and delivers of 97k um, which was early on this um, early on this year and well early just uh, last last month um, and you know we had people coming out saying that was a miss of what they were expecting and it wasn't really good but at the same time on the channel I was saying look that's still a record delivery and it's fantastic growth from where they are so let's not put that down and that really paid off for them in this energy pot and they also were talking about the record star deployment of the um, energy and the solar growth that they have, um, which a few people say that is a great uh, little side project to have on their own. On the summary page, I've highlighted that the gross margins have strengthened, which is good. And the Gigafactory of Shanghai was built in 10 months and is ready for production. While it was 65% less expensive than the actual um, US Gigafactory, which is something fantastic and shows you how cheap it is to get things done over there in China. On the revenue side of it, it does say that something really interesting is that the amount of leased cars has tripled and um, that has slightly impacted the revenue um, of the year over year because if you imagine people are playing up for their cars up front. But um, I think it's a good way to go with the lease side of it because um, if you are able to lease the cars a lot more and lease the Model 3s, it's going to open up a lot more markets um for people that want to go buy model free and make them more affordable that they don't have to go and pay the big lump up sum so that was a good move for the finance side of it for tesla and i expect that to carry on increasing um going forward 
on the vehicle capacity page, guys, we had um, for a mention of Europe, and it says that we are in the final stages of our site selection process. Our European Gigafactory is expected to produce both Model 3 and Model Y. So it, it seems like the um, Gigafactory in Europe is nearly about there, ready to start uh, building uh, as soon as the plans are all confirmed. A really interesting thing about that is that that will make, I think the Model 3, one of the biggest markets is China and the in Europe. Um, so a Gigafactory in Europe would be absolutely huge um, for Tesla. So um, it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Uh, the rumours are that's going to be 2021. Previously, it was 2022. So that's another good move for Tesla going forward. The technology page, we had um, autopilot and uh, the self-driving and we had the release of this smart summon, which is so cool. Like I actually just want to use it. If anyone has a Tesla that they'll let me use that and um, just for like two minutes, I just want to see it happen. But it's basically an app which you have on your phone and you just press a button and your car that's parked in the car park or your Tesla in the car park will come and drive to you, which sounds absolutely amazing. And also it says that it pretty much showed off how much the self-driving cars uh, not having accidents compared to everyone else. It said that there was one registered accident for every 4.34 billion, which was fantastic. Um, and also there's a few, uh, few things about the vehicle software and also the powertrain about how much ba their batteries are better than everyone else's pretty much. Um, we also had a bit about the Mega Pack, um, which saw big massive increases this quarter, which was fantastic. And the Tesla insurance, which um, won't be a, a massive thing for Tesla, but still something that people are pretty bullish on. Um, going forward, its outlook, it, it says it believes it's going to actually exceed the delivery estimate, which I said previously. It's going to be close. Um, I'm not sure if they would beat it, but here they are in the Q3 earnings say they are going to beat that. Um, like I said, on the last Tesla video, I'm on the fence about it. I'm not sure if they will, um, but we'll see. Um, they're, and then they were on about profitability. They expect to make a lot more quarter, uh, profitable quarters now, which is we, which is we're kind of expecting now. We, we expect a lot. There's going to be a couple where the because of the expansion that Tesla do and how much they want to expand. There's going to be a couple of quarters where they aren't going to make profit because they're putting a lot of money into the gigafactories in in China. The next one will be the one that's in Europe. Uh, the Model Y production, the truck production. Uh, the roads to production, you know, that's all going to take money up. So these are going to be quarters where they might not make profit, but um, we're not going to have any quarters now that are going to, you know, sting us that much as an investor. And then it, going forward, it talks about the Model Y, which we said is going to be in uh, 2020. Uh, limited volumes of the uh, Tesla semi truck, which will be in uh, 2020 as well. And then, like say, the European Gigafactory will be in production for 2021, which would be pretty cool. And uh, there's also some pretty cool photos. Go check them out, guys. It's on the investor relation page of the actual Gigafactory in Shanghai. And that's absolutely amazing to see that conveyor belt in uh, 2000. And um, to do that in 10 months is a fantastic. There's also the um, getting ready for the body spray photo, which I thought was pretty cool. The actual whole building, which you see the size of it and you think that was in 10 months, that's insane. And also we had um, the 10 month scale from the actual just nothing there and then we see all the workers ready to um, start assembling all the cars in October 2019 which was absolutely crazy so guys that was pretty much the Tesla earnings report from Q3 it was, as you can tell it's fantastic a lot of investors thought it fantastic and that's why the stock went up for me um, it was a better than expected earnings report it kind of like I was you know I'm quite bullish on Tesla but after that I was like wow this company is absolutely amazing. Like it's actually, it's a game changer how they're doing everything. And for me, um, like I say, uh, I was kind of like, at some point I wanted to probably sell Tesla. Um, I don't know when, but for me, just seeing how much is going on and seeing how much is going to be going on with Tesla in 2020, uh, 2021, um, it's, it's brilliant. And um, it makes me want to think like, oh, I need to at least hold this stock for another two years because of everything that's going on and all this uh, amazing news. So um, I was really happy with this earnings report, guys, and it's good to see Tesla go up a little bit um, from there because it has been around them like the 250 mark for a very long time. But 
that was Tesla earnings, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the information. I hope it was useful to you if you were a Tesla investor or looking at Tesla. Um, but guys, um, if you could give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, that'd be amazing. I'll see you on the next video.